Tina Rana Cranford. Uh, it's got something to do with liking or disliking Music Fest. It's got everything to do with bad government and a Union County Prosecutor's Office that is apparently uh, run by a political party. This is an article from the Star Ledger from May 2009. Two Union County Parks employees charged with theft. Two employees of the Union County Parks Department were charged with theft today in what authorities say were unrelated incidents. One was accused of swiping between $15,000 and $20,000. Another was accused of stealing more than $35,000. Um, I don't know what the outcome of this was. Neither are on the county payroll. I checked today, and neither is their um, former department head. So that's three employees gone over this incident. And uh, around the same time, the county manager was quoted, the recent charges, along with a deteriorating economic situation, called out for the creation of an independent physical investigatory arm, county manager George Devaney said in his statement. And you created this new position, um, it pays over $100,000, it's called the Economic Crime Inspection Bureau, and you had announced it, it was coming in uh, just that week. And uh, I haven't heard anything about that inspection bureau since then, what, what work it's done, but, you know, I'm standing here. I, I tend to look outside of the box at things. I didn't expect anyone to abstain for the vote. You wouldn't be sitting here tomorrow if you did that. I didn't expect you to do that. I just want to draw attention, because this is a social problem, and I'm sure it's happening in other places in New Jersey. If I went into my neighbor's house and stole their television, and my neighbor called the cops, my town cops, but they were you know, in with me and they're not gonna do anything to me. What's my neighbor gonna do? Call the attorney general's office and they're busy. They're, they're, they're policing an entire state. Call the FBI, the FBI will say, well, it's not a federal crime. We understand there's problems there, but there's only so much we could do. So the Union County Prosecutor's Office is the first line of defense in public corruption and I, I can't speak for all the counties, but I can say in Union County, they are absolutely useless. I stand here and ask where $250,000 in cash went missing to. I question how you can handle cash that way. My business couldn't handle cash that way. I couldn't do that. I'd get prosecuted. And, and this is just one story. Businesses are prosecuted every day for, for crimes like this. Yet they sit here and don't, don't even go by what I'm saying about it. Just, just people at home, watch out the, the reaction of this freeholder board. You treat them like they're a part, they're an extension of your dais up there. You have no respect for them. You have no respect for them. If you did, at the very least, you would keep your mouth shut. You have no respect for the prosecutor's office, and you shouldn't, because it's really not justice. It's not justice, it's not equal justice. A county employee wouldn't get away with a petty theft or anything, yet you do. And all nine of you just voted on this. And I've stood here year after year and said, just give me an accounting of it. And you don't. Every year you don't. And this year, about $250,000 in cash went missing. And I'd like to see a, a citizen in Union <coughs> County that could get away with that under any circumstances. And you do it right in front of them. They are in this room every time I ask for it. They are right here. And I don't get an answer. They never call you and say, you know, it happened one year. I couldn't stand that. And somebody should have, you know, if it was a real prosecutor's office, they would have said, hey, knock it off. You know, we're accountable here. You're making us look bad. Knock it off. Start keeping your books straight. Didn't happen the next year. Didn't happen the year after that. Where's the cash? The cash has gone missing. You can call me names all night long. That cash has gone missing. It's not accounted for. Where is it? From wrong, prove me wrong. Thank you for your comments. Money for Music Fest tonight, for next year. Um, they haven't accounted for this year's Music Fest cost. We did an extensive study. We put a lot of time and effort into it. We put an uh, OPA request in. 
have went to three, maybe even four freeholder meetings, stood at that podium with the Union County Prosecutor's Office, always represented in that room, and asked, not only are these costs not accounted for, but more disturbing, in 2010 it appears that $250,000 in cash has gone missing. There's no accounting for the parking cash. People pay $10 to park their car. The county said there were 80,000 people there. I don't know. Even if my estimate is 50% off, then $125,000 in cash is missing. Yeah, just say 125. Is that? It's really too Well, it's gone. And it's they gone. And they didn't say. They didn't say it's anything. $25,000. It's gone. Normally, they, it's they like there. to refute what we say. They all didn't even say a word on no. it. No, no. We're not. but tonight I did bring up the fact that the person, I, people need to understand how it works here, and I, and I kind of use the analogy, if I go into my neighbor's house and steal their TV, and they call my town police, that's who you would call if you call 911, but the town police were in with me, the town police aren't going to do anything, so then my neighbor would have to call, well, I'll skip over the prosecutor's office, then they would have to call the state attorney general's office, and the state attorney general's office would say, you know, I commiserate with you, I understand there's a problem, but we're so busy, we'll try and get to it. I mean, they're policing an entire state. Then you call the FBI, and the FBI says, well, you know, realize there's problems here, but it's not a federal crime. So this is where the social problems begin in New Jersey, and I can't speak for the entire state. I'm sure there are good county prosecutors out there, but we don't have one, and he is just an extension of the dais. He might as well be sitting up there with them because he is on, he's up there, he's part of their team. He's not going to say, hey, knock it off, where's the cash? Just answer for it. Just give, just give an answer. That's disrespectful to him, to the Union County Prosecutor's Office. And that's, that's, that's what I want to draw attention to because I think it's a great opportunity uh, for all of New Jersey to, to take a look at this and to see where this all comes from, where the corruption festers and how it could just permeate and you just can't get rid of it because we really have no law and order with government. None. Union County Freeholders, George Devaney, Senator Raymond Lesiak's nephew, has no law enforcement to answer to unless the State Attorney General's Office gets involved, unless the FBI gets involved. The Union County Prosecutor's Office is useless. And that doesn't say that they don't go after county employees for thefts. And I, it's just, I know there's been a few in recent years, some were like really petty. I think one was like for only $5,000. But here's a, a Star and Ledger article just from May 2009. Two employees of Union County Parks Department were charged with theft today in what authorities say were unrelated incidents. A clerk was accused of swiping fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in funds. Fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. I'm talking about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in cash unaccounted for. Another one was accused of stealing uh, $35,000 from the park. And then, you know, George Devaney gets a quote in here. The recent charges, along with a deteriorating economic situation, called out for the creation of an independent fiscal investigatory arm. They created a position for a Richard Childs, who was a former part-time employee. They made him a full-time employee. And I'm waiting to see when he's going to retire and get his pension bumped up for this. Because since this happened, I haven't heard anything come out of his office. So they went after these two county employees with the full force of the law. I don't know what happened with them, but I did check. Neither one of them are on the county payroll today, and neither is their department head. She was, she was let go as well because of this incident, I believe. So they created another hack position for over $100,000. They get rid of these two employees, George Devaney's, you know, bloviating about it. Meanwhile, I stand at that microphone three, four times with the prosecutor sitting right there, not the, pro the first assistant prosecutors in the room usually, sitting right there, and I'm asking, 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 nothing. Not only do they not answer, I get harassed. I get called all kinds of names to change the subject and take the focus off of it. And they're doing this not only to me, but to the prosecutor's office. This is the respect they have for the prosecutor's office. They know they don't even have to put up a front for him. You know, this had this the first time three years ago when I really looked into the cost. The prosecutor said it could have picked up the phone and said, hey, knock it off. I, I, I'm accountable for this. You know, it's making me look bad. Start keeping your books. Didn't happen. Didn't happen three years ago. Didn't happen two years ago. Didn't happen this year. It's not going to happen next year 
not going to happen because this is the social issue, it's a problem in New Jersey. It's a disease. We have a disease. And there's nothing we can do. When you don't have justice, you don't have democracy. And I'll get off my soapbox with that. But $250,000 in cash is gone. Merry Christmas, George Shafaney. <laughs> $250,000 in cash, you could steal two stuff. All right, you didn't steal it, but it's not accounted for. So, I mean, this is a, a democracy. Citizens are supposed to go to these meetings, that's right? Isn't this why we go to meetings? To ask questions and have them answered. I'm asking a very serious question. Isn't that, what's grand theft? What amount is grand theft? Probably like 50 grand. 50 it's grand. well over grand theft. Uh, you know what, even if I, I believe my, my projection of 250 concerning their numbers is uh, it's not only the parking, it was the beer garden. I think I had I made a conservative estimate, but even if I'm 50% off, still a lot of money. Probably. 75% off, it's a lot of money. I don't care if it's $2, how dare they? How dare they not answer to that? How dare they? And the prosecutor's office is right there while they do. It's right there. Hey, let, let me just interject something. <laughs> a new freeholder came on board. His, his name is Chris Hudak. Freeholder Hudak. So welcome aboard. And to tell you what, if you want to do something good for the people at this point, here's your task. Find out where that $250,000 went for the people of the county. There's something you can look into. Now that you're on the inside, start asking questions. Even if it is only $125,000, find out where that raw cash went. You're going to have to find out whatever the process was of collecting it and whose hands it went into. It may take a while. You're going to get, obviously, resistance and stonewalling. But there's the task. We're the taxpayers of Union County. We want to know what happened to the money. And if something devious happened, we want to hear about prosecutions and accountability. So there's your task, Freeholder. You would act. Welcome aboard. Well, one last. The, the, technically, this is it. Productions was responsible for beer and parking. So that's a private company. They did it. I mean, uh, maybe, I, maybe not. But know. the thing is, that Why wasn't they said. Say that? Yeah, they didn't say. I it. was going to say that. <laughs> Why didn't they tell you that it was this is it productions, which is in the contract? It's there. But, but. Yes, but, but, by the way. You're talking hundreds of thousand dollars in ten dollar bills, not crisp dollar bills coming from the bank. You're talking about here's my ten dollars, here's my ten dollars, and no receipts were given out, no little things for the, the window, none of that. So, so where did the where did this vendor keep this cash? County police had to be involved. It had to be put into their refurbished trailer. I mean, what did they do? Did they have a Brinks truck bringing in? I mean, there had to be a process. And even still, this is it. You have to report what they brought in. I mean, and who could run a business like this? They should have to report that to the county, and that should be a public record. They should be able to say, well, we gave this contract to this is it, and this is what this is it made, because maybe next year, instead of having county employees chase people like me and John Berry around on golf carts to see what we're doing, maybe those county employees could collect those $10 bills, and then the county can make 100% of that contract instead of ferreting it out to some vendor. And it looked like they just hired, like, College kids. And there, there was nothing professional about their demeanor or what they were doing. And, and, but, and, and isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient to hire people like that? People that aren't going to keep track of things. People that aren't going to have controls in place to keep track of the money. Isn't that convenient? Why? Why would a professional hire a contractor like that if not, if not if they don't want it? The county. What, what, who would run their business like that? Here's here's this vendor, here's this contract, collect all this cash, and we're not going to, you know, don't write anything down, don't give receipts. Who would do that? Who would do that? And uh, the Music Fest, by the way, will be on September 9th and 10th. I don't know if they're scaling back. There's, but they're paying this is it just about the same amount, so maybe the acts are lower. But I'm thinking the 10th anniversary of 9-11, it might be a little, not, the Sunday, that 9-11-11 is going to be a Sunday, and they're not having Music Fest then. So I'm guessing they're going to have less acts, since they're only going to pay 100000 but that wasn't 
I specifically asked, are you going to have SS? And they didn't say anything. No, that wasn't the only that wasn't accounted for. A lot wasn't accounted for. I'm just pointing out that that's an obvious thing that anyone can understand. It's not even a paper trail. We said it. It might it'll take a little bit of work to track that. It's not work at all. It's not work at all. Not that many people were involved in it. I mean, it's just an obvious thing. But there were other things missing. Like, we didn't have a full accounting of, you know, they, they said well, all these people donated money. It didn't show up in the paperwork. I didn't see it. And you know, if someone like me comes asking you for the documents, just give it to me. Unless you have something to hide, you would say, here, here's a spreadsheet with everything in it. Look, there's nothing wrong. That's what you would do. But obviously, there's something extremely wrong. Extremely wrong. Not only because of the documents that they didn't produce, but their attitudes and the way they're being defensive, and the fact that the prosecutor's office is represented right there while all this is going on just shows you what a disease this state is in, this corruption. What, are you, what, are you, what more can a citizen do? But look into it, ask your documents, go to public meetings, speak out, report it to authorities. What more can we do? There is no law and order. The answer to no law. And what's also extremely interesting, Theodore Romankow is uh, the current prosecutor. McGreevy appointed him. Uh, Corazine reappointed him. Now he's going to reach mandatory retirement age in 2011. So we have Christopher Christie, a former prosecutor who should understand these problems firsthand. I mean, he should, he should know what the problem with county prosecutors are when, when they behave this way, and that it's just a detriment to society. He should know. But we'll see who he appoints. We'll see if he, you know, waives the mandatory retirement age and lets Momenko stay there, if he lets his first assistant, who was untruthful, was untruthful to the New Jersey Inspector General, and I'm not just saying that, I'm reading it in blogs, I'm reading it in some newspaper that could have gotten it wrong, it's in the New, Jer the New York Inspector General report. He changed his story when he was confronted with phone records. So they didn't actually say he lied, but he said this, and then they showed him that, and then he said, oh yeah, and this is, this is the first assistant prosecutor. So this is our society. This is what we're dealing with. They spend one and a quarter million dollars a day. They're largely responsible for our health and safety, public safety. And this is who they are. It's an organized crime syndicate. It's legal organized crime.